just talk about the time of Jacob's trouble, man. When all the hell and chaos is released here in Babylon, martial law, the chip, we're praying that the work that we do, and just praying in general to the Most High to, to deliver us, you know? And the brothers that teach the word with us, we're praying for their sakes too. And the elders' sakes, you know? We gotta pray for one another. The scriptures tell you that too. You gotta be praying for one another. Uh, Revelation 3 verse 10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation Which shall try Which shall come upon all the world To try them that dwell on earth Yeah, that shall try them that dwell on all the earth Alright So the Lord's gonna test our faith in those times, man The Lord's testing our faith now But the Lord's preparing our souls, man Our spirits, our minds for something much greater. The book of Daniels records that the trial and tribulation is nothing that will ever be seen, man. The nef nothing that has ever happened will amount to the amount of chaos that's going to follow in America. Alright? Nor shall ever be. So the Lord is preparing us, making us hard. Like the brother Yacaba, he always brings out that that word endurance, when you look it up, it means being hard, man. That's why the Lord talks about raising us up to be soldiers. Because the amount of chaos that's getting ready to take place in this country, these people have no idea. So give me some, uh, give me some scriptures uh, concerning salvation, concerning the plagues, okay? That the Lord's going to preserve the elect from, okay? The Lord's going to preserve the elect from, uh, uh, well, what's that scripture in Job? Talks about in seven troubles, the Lord shall deliver me. You can find that real quick. You got something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Romans 12, verse 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice. Con, yeah, serving the Lord. Like we were getting on that guy, uh, uh, Zabak, he ain't serving the Lord, man. Because to be serving the Lord, you got to occupy in prophecy. You got to be paying attention to the events that's going on in the world. Now you had an incident, this brother sent me a link right down here in Philly where you had this fucking police officer, man, literally uh, uh, grab a young Jake by the stones, man, and, and tore his shit up, man. That's, that, that, yo, that disturbed me to complete hatred, man. That was just disgusting. This, this, this Esau is the damn devil, man. First and foremost, so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The one that did was a damn woman, man. Yeah. And it tells you if a woman does that, she's supposed to be put to death. Yeah, she's supposed to be put to death. You know? So there's more wickedness in this fucking country, man. There's there's more evidence of the wickedness of this fucking country. Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Thus saith the Heavenly Father, all right? Babylon shall be destroyed, thus saith the Bible. Babylon being America. Babylon coming from the word Babal, meaning confusion. How a fucking woman can get away with ten first of all, it's an Israelite, man. But to even do that in general, get 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 up. She should have been put to death. There's no fucking trial. She they already got the witnesses. The boy had his friends and witnessed the whole damn thing. Fuck trial. You just need to be put to death, man. Yeah, fuck being fired. You need to be set on fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead. It says, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Patient in tribulation. So right now, you know, the most I trying our spirits a little bit with this with this cold snap we got going on. But you know, hey, it ain't nothing because we're in the spirit any damn way. And things are gonna get a lot farther. Things are gonna get much more worse than just a little bit of cold, man. The cold is gonna is a, gonna be a light thing compared to those days, compared to famine, compared to uh, riots in the streets, race riots. Okay. No no clothing outlets to go to, no fucking food to, uh, 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 food stores or markets. No money. Gold and silver becoming completely useless. All right. Go ahead. It says, 
uh, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Continuing instant in prayer, man. So we gotta be praying consistently, you know? Fasting, praying, coming out and, and, and doing the work in the world of Yahweh Shimei Oshai. You know, we get on these guys every damn week. Now normally we'll come out on Saturday, right? But it's Sunday, the brother already explained that. We still make it a point to come out. Now if you see, these guys ain't out here on Sunday. They weren't out here last Saturday. So, so you know, it's apparently too cold for them. But according to the scriptures, you're supposed to be in season and out of season no matter what. Go ahead. This is uh, Job chapter 5, verse. So, yeah, this destruction coming, but we got hope in Yahabashim Yahushai as well. All right, the Lord ain't making, ain't gonna allow the works, okay, that we do according to the word and, for, and the performance that we do. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna not have some type of reward for us, man. All right, the, the reward is gonna be salvation. The reward is gonna be able to, if we be elect, is getting to see the downfall of our enemies, okay? All them fucking, all the people that persecute us, man, from our job, our women. Okay, that's another thing too, man. All women gonna be put in subjection. All women gonna be put in subjection that day. All right? So don't fret for all y'all that are like, oh, you know, all this destruction, what am I gonna do? Well, the Lord has an elect, and he's gonna preserve him, man, because they're the apple of his eye. But we just gotta trust and have faith in the Lord. All right, Yahweh Shai, that he's gonna deliver us for the good works. All right? And by good works, I mean teaching his word, all right? Yeah. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 30, 35 Cast not away therefore your confidence Which have great recompense and reward Con, for, Which have great recompense and payback and reward you See that? So the Lord got a reward for the, for the men whom he has predestinated For the salvation that is to come man. We got the kingdom of heaven to look forward to the brother was mentioning early, the so-called white man, he's getting ready to go into chains, man. Of course, Babylon got to be destroyed, but that's his future. His future, so-called white man, right along with the rest of the heathen, they're going into chains. They're going right into slavery. Go ahead. For ye, need, for ye have need of patience that so after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Con, Scripture say what now about patience? For ye have need of patience. You have need of patience. You have need of patience, man. Okay. You have need of patience. A lot, a lot of guys, man, they don't got patience. Why do you think they don't come out and teach? Because they don't want to deal with the cold. They don't want to deal with the controversy. They don't want to speak. Speak on the name of the destruction. They don't got patience, man. You gotta be able to have patience in order to be, be a teacher. To be a man of the Lord, you have to have patience. Because the Lord is gonna put you in a, in a difficult situation. That's why it says that few enter by the straight gate. We're in the straight gate. We're in a position of difficulty. However, the burden is light. If you do your research and if you follow according to what the elders are teaching, you can't get lost. You can't get caught up in controversy. The Lord's going to give us a mouth that our adversaries cannot gainsay nor resist. That's just a part of this thing. That's to build us up and to add on to our patience. You mean to tell me you can't deal with debating somebody who's going off or debate the scriptures back and forth? If you can't even do that, then what are you going to do when all hell breaks loose? If you can't come to the conclusion that you need to preach the name and that the Lord has a name, how, who are you going to call upon to deliver you in those days? Like in the spirit of Ezra, woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? See, we're solemnly counting on that name. And all the things that we've been taught to be, to, to be part of uh, the thing that gets us delivered. 
So you must not want to be delivered from Babylon. You're comfortable here in Babylon. It says, uh, For yet a little while he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in it. Yeah, if any man draw back, the Lord is not going to have no pleasure in that soul and spirit. So what is he going to do to that person? He's going to destroy them. The Lord's going to destroy that soul, man. Uh, you can link that up with uh, Luke. Uh, 962. Okay, so we got we got to keep pushing this thing and, and harder and stronger than ever before, considering the times that we're living in, man. All right, we need to continue to exercise and meditate in the prophecies that are written, and constantly be speaking and concerned with the destruction of Babylon, the martial law, the prophecy on the chip we got to be constantly meditating on all those things man. Right? because this is not the time to be growing weak in the faith this is not the time to be holding back any of the things that's been written within the scriptures okay that time is long past uh, Romans the 13th chapter it is now high time to wake out of sleep all right The, everything concerning the destruction of Babylon, all right, the uplifting of the elect, and so on and so forth, everything is escalating. It's it's speeding up. All right, every week goes by a little quicker. Every week goes by just a little bit quicker. You know, there, you might have like one slow day, like Tuesday might be the slow day or Wednesday might be the slow day might seem to drag but then before you know it it's already Saturday so you might have like one slow day the rest of the week is it's gone man so these weeks are flying by most high is speeding up the time man go ahead uh, Luke go ahead. 9 verse 62 okay Clown, you, you can read that just let me get this real quick yeah, Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh shall send unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Right, so no man having put forth his hand to the plow. The plow represents doing the work. The plow represents keeping the faith. So what 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 does the work consist of? Consists of actually coming out here and teaching, no matter what the elements or circ you know circumstances may be. It may be the heat of the day, okay? You've got tons of people up and down trying to, you know, debate. Hey, that's just what it is. And you can have other moments where it's freezing ass, blistering cold, and there ain't don't seem like nobody's watching, you know. But that's why we we do this. We got the camera. Okay, so just because nobody seems to be watching us or listening to us out here, we got the show. So, you know, you can watch us on the internet. That's why that was set up any damn way. It was for the truth to be uh, multiplied and go out throughout all the four corners of the earth. So no man is going to have an excuse come judgment time for why they didn't uh, basically repent. All right, or turn back. Turn back from what? From the wickedness of the world? Exactly. Okay? No no Israelite man gonna have an excuse for why they didn't get the truth. For why they, you know, didn't study and come out and teach. Go ahead, read that precept. Alright, this is uh, 2nd Ezra is chapter 16, verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, yep. within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb. Which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Yeah, so just like the the destruction, just like uh, the concentration camps, the martial law, none of that is slack. Okay? All you got to do is, is go to Google and type in concentration camps, and you can literally get a list now of all the concentration camps. You know? So the evidence pursuing to uh, martial law, and Esau coming in like the flood, and where Job talks about the troops, all of that evidence based upon the scriptures, it's, it's clear. It's there. 
And everything that we're saying is not complicated. It's not hard to understand. They've even done movies on it. Go ahead. This is, uh, verse 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. God. Read that last part again, mourn and sorrow, because that's exactly what's coming to America, is mourning and sorrow. All, all this time we've been telling you, and we've been exhorting, uh, any, any, any of you young brothers that are out there listening to the videos and maybe not have yet started a camp, whether you're located in Philly or whatever like that, find where the, some GMS brothers are at, okay? Get with them, bring, bring your Bible, bring all the necessary tools that you need, and see if you can join the camp. If you locate it in Philly and you believe uh, that what we're saying is the truth and you've been fully convinced in your own mind, okay, you can come down here. You might have to be on the sidelines for a minute, but hey, that's just part of it. That's part of order. You're going to be put on a trial period, okay? Because you got a lot of false brethren amongst Israel too, all right? You got a lot of spies, okay? So, so we're wise as serpents, but we're harmless as doves. So, but if you feel like you're a man of the faith, all right, you located in Philly, hey, get in contact. We got a website, we got an uh, email address. There's many ways of getting a hold of us. And there's a lot of we got we got a duty and a, 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 a work to be fulfilled. Go ahead. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Yeah, sorrow shall come upon it on every side, man. On the entire world, all right. Right now, you got the riots in the Ukraine. Okay, you got the riots in Greece. You got riots all over the world, man. The only place that ain't really rioting or ain't really protesting as much as these other nations is America, because these people are still under that uh, gross darkness. They don't know what the hell is going on. All right, and it's gonna take some disastrous events for these people to realize what the hell is going on. Especially Jake, man. It's gonna take some disastrous events for Jake to get this shit together, you know? Because, and really, everything that we've been telling you, when it starts to come to pass, they start implementing these things, man, shit. Then y'all are gonna wanna try and find us, you know? Then, then, then you're gonna be trying to find us. That's why the scriptures say, then they shall know that there had been a prophet among them, right? It's Isaiah chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Huh. Like that, hey, that's what it is, man. A lot of you are gonna get caught up in the time of Jacob's trouble, as the scriptures say. A lot of you are going to get caught up in the, martial, in the martial law, okay? A lot of you are going to take the chip after we warned you and warned you and warned you. The elders have been warning you about not taking the chip, okay? It's better to die for righteousness sake, man. For what? For standing up in what you believe in. What do we believe in? We believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Got something else? Uh, Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Son, a lot of you, like, we, we, we come out here with, with all this information, yet a lot of you don't even consider, like, how, how are you going to be delivered from the destruction that comes? You know, a lot of you might agree with what we're saying, but you can't just be a passerby. Like the scriptures say, uh, don't be a hearer only. This thing takes more than just you, you know, Cheering us on. We don't. We don't need anybody to cheer us on, man. Okay. You gotta try and work out your own salvation. We we can't save you. Only the Lord can save you. But you gotta do what's required to receive that that mercy from the Most High. Okay. I don't guarantee my. I'm not guaranteeing myself to be anything. The only thing that I could do is what is which is what's in my ability to do according to the will that the Most High has already set for me. 
So I can only perform as much as what the Lord has given me. And so that's what we do. That's what we execute. The different gifts that the Most High gave each each one of us. Go ahead. We gotta find y'all gotta find out what your gifts are too, man. And execute them. Go ahead. So verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great warnings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Come. So Ezra is saying, what should I do when them evils shall come? But the scriptures tell you, man, you got to have trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Part of having the confidence in the Most High is believing that there's duties that you got to do. What are them duties consist of? We're telling you, you know. You got to fear the Lord, number one, and you got to, what, have a balance. Because the Lord ain't, it's apparent, right? It's going to say it's evident that no man is justified by the works of the law. So we know we can't keep the law to the letter, and that's not what's going to get us delivered. It's going to be our faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. However, Faith and the work, they, they, they coincide, they work together. Because you need to rehearse the righteous acts. Like I, like I say, like the scriptures say, man, according to the word, what? The, the, the heaven that we're going to inherit is going to be that of a righteous kingdom. So that means of law and order. All right? Of Yahweh Shai. So we got to rehearse for what's to come. Ultimately, what's going to get us saved is our faith. And believing in Yahweh by Shem Shai. And believing in the destruction of Babylon. Go ahead. Uh, uh, so great sorrows and great mourners to come to America. He that have an ear, let him hear. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to skip to verse 2nd uh, 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 Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold as Slakia. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Yeah, read that again. Uh, Second Ezra uh, 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Yeah, then it's gonna be known who's the Lord's chosen. Because the chosen are gonna be those that stand for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, no matter what circumstance it is. Whether they get locked up in the concentration camp, whether they have an option to take the chip or death, the elect, they're going to stand for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and nothing but. Go ahead. Uh, so the Lord going to put us in predicaments to try our faith, but ultimately at the end of the day, if you're part of the chosen, you're part of the elect, the Most High going to deliver you out of the trouble. Go ahead. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O 